Hey guys, Gina here. Today we're going to be making shepherd's pie. So the first thing I've started doing is browning this uh, ground beef here. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of this kosher salt. And pepper it to taste. I'm going to add my onions. It's a large onion that I have chopped up. I'm going to add my vegetables. You can, I'm, I'm using a bag of frozen vegetables. Mine come to about four cups, but you can use anywhere from like one cup to, well, like four. <laughs> Turn this oven on to 400 before I forget. Put in a couple tablespoons of this garlic. I love to have it already minced up like this. <laughs> it's just so convenient. You guys like my shirt? When I found this in the closet, it made me chuckle because it reminded me of, well, during quarantine, I've been watching a lot of Chuck and Psych, and one of the things they do, they have a code word of pineapple. <laughs> Both of them do. And uh, anyway, so it got me to thinking about the importance of laughter. And, you know, during this quarantine, it's I really, I really come to appreciate those guys because they make you laugh, you know, when things aren't always that fun or funny. And, you know, when I was in um, university, I was studying psychology, one of the things that they talked about more than once was that laughter has, it's healing. You know, you, you've, all, you've probably already heard that laughter is good for the soul, but it's also good for, you know, a lot of other things. It's good for the mind. It's good for the body. And I just thought I would mention that so that you guys would think about maybe putting on a comedy. Your taste might not be the same as mine. Um... My mama raised me on sci-fi, and I watch Star Trek and, you know, goofy shows like Chuck and Psych, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, find what you like, and, you know, maybe give yourself a laugh, because it's good for you guys. It's really good for you. This has been cooking a few minutes, and this... The onion has become translucent and the vegetables are getting done. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. And I've got two thirds cup of beef broth. You could also use chicken broth if you want. I have used that before as well. And here I have a fourth teaspoon of ground thyme and a teaspoon of rosemary. Uh, some people even use a little bit more rosemary. That's just kind of up to you. It's kind of optional. Some people don't use it at all. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm not very good at saying that, but you guys know what I mean. Now what I have here is leftover mashed potatoes, about a, cu a couple of cups. Um, and what I'm going to do is 
add an egg to that. Maybe. <laughs> That is a fresh egg, and that dude is really bright compared to what we get out of the store, isn't it? Look at that. I'm going to put a link for you guys if you need uh, directions on making mashed potatoes, but since I already had some, it is a perfect time to use leftover mashed potatoes for your stuff here. And they look pretty good. So here I have two tablespoons of flour and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top here. And then I'm going to stir it in. So what I did here is I added a couple of tablespoons and sprinkled it over the top and stirred it in. You can layer this if you have enough potatoes. But I just kind of doubt that I do. So I'm going to put the bulk of this in at the bottom. And make sure that I've got enough potatoes to cover it on the top. And then we're going to put it in the oven. And if you like, you can put some cheese on it. Some people really like that. It does make it look really nice when you put cheese on it. I'm trying to spread it out a little bit so that it's not just all on one part. Now I'm putting this in the oven, 400 degree oven. 30 minutes and I want that those mashed potatoes to kind of be just kind of golden another little thing I wanted to show you guys I, I'm I probably showed you in some of my previous videos but one of the things I like to do is you know if I just if I don't use a whole can of this tomato paste I like to put it into cubes, you know, to where I can just freeze it and pull it out as much as I need. So like here, I'm making about four of these. And then that way, um, if I need a tablespoon or two tablespoons, I can just pull out what I need. And it's really handy. So I've checked on this and it's still not quite brown enough. So what I'm going to do is put it on broil for a little bit, maybe about five minutes. But if you guys choose to do that, definitely keep a close eye on it. So since we've been talking a little bit about mental health, I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you needed to, you know, see a therapist to go do that. One thing I learned when I was working at a counseling center is that everybody needs to talk to somebody sometimes. And I think that we need to destigmatize that, you know. If you need to talk to somebody, I think that you need to do that. I think that that's the responsible thing to do because, you know, mental health, if, you know, the, the brain is the main part of the body and if it's not working right, you know, nothing's going to work right. And so I think instead of separating things, you know, separating the, you know, the brain and the body, I don't think we should do that. And so, you know, if you need to see somebody, I think you should go. Mm. That turned out even better than I expected. Ooh. Mm. You guys should definitely try that. That's comfort food. Comfort food. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's good.